Hey, how's it going guys? Coach Austin here to talk about the cross cable tricep extension. Okay, so in terms of tricep movements, there are going to be very few um, that are going to line up the best to train all three heads of the tricep. So you commonly hear, hey, how do I hit the long head? How do I hit the short head? Um, so a lot of that has to do with setup and the positioning of that arm position, so that upper arm, that humerus position, in relation to where all the three heads of the tricep do attach. Okay, so the long head does actually attach to the scapula, and that can get quite tricky when you try and set yourself up to train all three heads at the same time. So this movement is great for doing that. Okay, so what we're going to do, unfortunately I have to face away from you, but I'm going to keep explaining things. So here at the beginning, a big thing that we want to do is actually line up, okay? We want to line up that tricep into a great position to actually contract and be able to contribute to that load, okay? So this is going to be, think of the position that your rear delt is in and think of this position of, so you'll notice here that to get into this position, I'm going to get myself into the position of greatest shoulder extension. So you're gonna see that that's gonna be a really strong position here. So if I go up here, I can't quite extend back as far, okay? So I'm doing, I'm trying to extend back. So I get myself to this position here and I can go significantly further here, okay? So this is going to be a very, very good position for that long head of the tricep to line up to contribute to move the load. So that being said, when we're getting into position, we want to kind of remember, and it's gonna feel, it's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel like a very strong position, very natural position to be in, to actually stay contracted, stay with tension in that upper back. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is find that position and then actually give our upper back some, some tension here. Use those rear delts a little bit to actually get into and stay into position. And then what we're going to wanna to do is actually move in that plane. And as you guys can see, I'm going to be in this plane here. So I'm not here and moving straight down. Okay, so I actually need to be up and in a very strong position here, and I'm going to be moving in this plane. So I keep saying that because you're going to need some type of tower cable system. Um, so right here, I have a functional trainer that's very adjustable. If you guys don't have a very adjustable functional trainer, that's more than okay. Just any dual cable setup, or you can even set this up in one of those jungle tower systems, you just have to be very aware of lining up that cable or that resistance with your arms, okay? So as you guys see me set up here, I'm going to be not only getting myself into this position, but I'm also going to be being, I'm also gonna make sure that that cable that is gonna line up with my arm, okay? So that means the resistance is going to line up with my arm. So as I get into position here, again, the cross cable, so I need to make sure I'm crossing my arms. Okay, so I'm, talk, I'm getting into that position I talked about. Good stability in that upper back. Keeping these shoulders into position. So don't allow this to happen as we go up and down. So as soon as we get into this position, we wanna stay there, okay? And then we're just going to be extending at the elbow. Just like that. So as you guys are going through this, you may have to play around. You may have to adjust your body position. You may have to alter how far or close you're standing. And also be sure, and I, I said, I mentioned this, but be sure that line of resistance. And so with the cable system, that line of resistance is very easy to see. That line of resistance is actually this cable itself. Okay, so that being said, we need to be sure that that is lined up with our arm. So if we're in this position, and this is our path, okay, so we need to be sure that that cable is coming and lining up nicely with this arm, okay, to help alleviate any tension or undue stress on either that shoulder joint or that elbow joint during this movement. 